There are no strings on me. Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Carnage, your Primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys today. Today we are here with the official patch notes for update 1.19, which just recently dropped for Black Ops 4. And we got a lot of new notes in this one, and unfortunately there's no new DLC weapons, but we're going to go over all the notes in detail because there was some weapon tuning, which we'll probably be having uh, some videos covering some of those recent weapon buffs and nerfs. But if you guys are new, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Really do appreciate you guys all showing all the love and support, both on today's stream and just on the channel in general. I really do appreciate it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So June 25th update, which is now out for both Xbox, PS4, and PC. Uh, first things first is that the contracts that were promised roughly around one to two weeks ago have officially came out now these contracts allow you to choose both a regular contract and a, a harder contract now the harder contracts reward you with supply drops and xp and also the normal contracts reward you with strictly just xp or merits depending on what mode you're playing and uh, there are some of the easier challenges like get five kills with the hellstorm missile which will reward you with two supply drops so that's very easy to get but there are some more complicated contracts uh, like i believe there's one for blackout that's known as get win an entire game of blackout without healing that seems kind of ridiculous in my opinion and i probably won't probably won't be wasting my time going for that unless somehow i get a god squad to get that done uh, a few other changes there's some weapon tuning regarding the daemon switchblade and mog 12 and a few other dlc weapons which we'll go over later on throughout the video on top of that, we also got a brand new DLC map, DLC map known as Hacienda Twilight, which is now in rotation, which is basically just Hacienda with the lights turned off and a few dots added to the sky, which you would call stars. But uh, more on to that, uh, more maps were also added to CTF. Uh, prop hunt and they also fixed the mark 2 leveling glitch uh, some new death effects humiliations and other blackout stuff was added which we will cover in detail uh, so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the full detailed notes for you guys so possible rewards from completing contracts can include reserve crates bonus xp and multiplayer zombies and world league bonus nebulum and zombies and bonus merits and blackout hacienda twilight was added ballistic profiles on smgs and pistols changed to hit scan to create consistency with other weapon classes of multiplayer basically what this means is that smgs were previously um bullet velocity what that means is that there's a, there's an interval of time usually with a few milliseconds between when you shoot your gun and when that bullet hits the target basically like battlefield uh previous call of duties it was always hit scan so the minute you shoot is the minute it hits the target now it's hit scan so that way the minute you shoot your gun the minute the bullet is going to hit the target so you don't have to worry about leading your shots or anything like that so this is certainly going to help out with hit detection on that front mod 12 got a tiny bit of a nerf it's really not big of a nerf guys i didn't notice a single difference dragon breath operator mod damage reduced to increase pellets required for one shot kill at long range it's really not that big of a nerf it's still the same Damon 3 xp got a nerf as well now requires at least six bullets to finish off a target with full health up from five and added a third extra magazine once again Damon's still overpowered all right, it's, it's barely noticeable. It's not even that much of a difference. Switchblade got its reduced six hit kill range from 19 meters to 13 meters, reduced its seven shot from 25 to 19, and reduced its eight shot from 31 to 25. That is actually a noticeable change for the Switchblade, so that's good on that front as well. Ballistic Knife addressed an issue preventing players from using dual wield and extra blaze at the same time. I don't have the Ballistic Knife, so unfortunately I wasn't able to experience the dual wield with that. Uh, Prop Punk got a few maps in rotation as well, and Frequency and Jungle got added to rotation for CTF as well. Players will no longer join Domination matches that are almost over. That is a good change. I got tired of joining games in progress for Domination where, where I have little to no, com no chance of coming back whatsoever. Heist added Humiliation finishing moves in Heist, so that's a good change there. Create a class suggests an issue where Mark II weapons were not progressing attachments and camels properly. This was an ongoing issue for a while, so I'm very happy that they managed to fix this because i know a lot of people including myself were complaining about this for quite a while uh, some score streaks got changed as well drone squad now takes longer to target players equipped with cold-blooded that's a good change because you guys know i complained about this one a lot 
cold-blooded being literally useless for situations like that address an issue where players using the gunship could have their camera stuck in a non-functional state i didn't know that was a thing address an issue where the hellstorm was sometimes self-destruct upon deployment it never happened to me at all address an issue where a player would use the dart would end up seeing a teammate's hellstorm deployment view that i didn't even know that was a thing that sounds pretty funny actually and a few other uh, changes were made to the Zero Ice Pick, which aren't really too big of changes. Uh, Feature playlists for this week are going to be CTF in the main tab, followed by Endurance Mosh Pit, Bare Bones Objective Mosh Pit, Prop Hunt, and Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit. Not too bad a playlist, but I'm not sure why we have CTF in rotation again. I would have swapped that out for something else personally. Moving on to Blackout, we got a few new changes here. Medals are now available in Blackout for in-game actions, including reviving and assisting teammates, eliminating a, a duo or a quad, taking down zombies, scoring a multi-kill, and much more. Uh, and you now get merits for those medals that you earn. So that's definitely a good thing because there are so many times I've taken out a squad, gotten a double kill, revived the teammate, and you don't really get bonus XP for that. So this is a nice, much-needed change blackout i'm very happy to see that sentry is now available in stashes and supply drops in all blackout modes so you, you now get sentry sentries deal lower damage compared to its multiplayer counterpart acting as a nuisance alert system in blackout so it's just it's just there to piss you off it's not really there to kill you um death effects are now uh, rewarded for completing outfit missions in blackout uh it's basically called the numbers death effect which is pretty good uh featured playlist on xbox is going to be alcatraz uh, hot pursuit solo duos and quads as for both ps4 and xbox uh and a few more changes were made to the pc area just featured playlists but as far as we know uh this is pretty much all the changes here let me know what you guys are most hyped for i'm pretty hyped about the uh switchblade nerf but unfortunately i was hoping they would do a little bit more to the daemon because i was using the daemon after the patch and it's still ridiculously overpowered i haven't noticed anything significantly different with it so i don't know maybe if you guys feel differently let me know in the comments box i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching the video showing all the love and support and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next video it's your boy carnage or primitive ak signing out peace out fellas